everybody, welcome back. So today we are making homemade bubble tea. Ah! So this is so exciting. I used to drink bubble tea all the time when I was in high school because there's a bubble tea place like down the street from my school. So at lunch, I always went and I got bubble tea. And I always thought it was like the trickiest thing. I had no, no idea that you could actually like make it at home, but it's actually really, really simple. So thank you all of you for all of your requests for bubble tea. I was getting a ton and I'm like, you know what? I should probably make bubble tea. So probably like the trickiest part is like sourcing the ingredients, but I actually bought a kit online and it's quite a heavy duty kit. I'm not sure I'll ever go through all of it just because you get like five or six like massive bags of like flavoring but if you're curious I will have that link in the description box below if you want to pick it up for yourself but yeah the ingredients are pretty easy to source and it's super easy to whip up and now you can have bubble tea anytime you like so let's get started okay so to give you guys the full bubble tea experience I'm gonna be showing you how to make four different versions of bubble tea one is milk tea one is a sour milk tea then there's like a creamy milk tea that, oh my gosh, I love so much. And then a black milk tea. Okay, so first we're going to make the bubbles of bubble tea, which are tapioca. What you want to do is pour the tapioca into a pot of boiling water and boil them uncovered for 45 minutes, stirring occasionally. Then remove the pot from the heat, place the lid on top, and let them sit for 20 minutes. And then after that's done, just drain them and then coat them in the sugar syrup that I am going to show you how to make next. So the sugar syrup is so easy. All you need to do is place a cup of water, half a cup of white sugar, and half a cup of brown sugar in a small pot and bring it to a boil. And so I actually don't really like the flavor of brown sugar in the bubble tea. So if you're like me and you think it would kind of change the flavor a little bit, you can just use a cup of white sugar instead of half and half. Then once it's come to a boil, just remove it from the heat and allow it to cool to room temperature. And now we are going to make our bubble tea. So first we're going to making taro milk tea. So what you want to do is pop some ice, some milk, and some taro flavor powder, water, and some of the sugar syrup into a blender and pulse it until it's smooth. Then pour the tapioca pearls into a tall glass and pour the mixture on top. Then just add a bubble tea straw and enjoy! And I also made a green apple version because I love green apple bubble tea and I just, I felt like I had to do that. <laughs> Now for the sour cherry milk tea, apparently you can buy sour flavor powders, so that's what I did. So you just wanna pop some ice, some milk, some of the sour flavor powder, some water, and some of the sugar syrup into a blender and pulse until smooth. Then pour the tapioca pearls into a tall glass again and pour the mixture on top and top of the bubble tea straw and your sour cherry bubble tea is ready. So now we're gonna make the creamy milk tea and this is just like a nice like vanilla creamy kind of flavor. You wanna combine the ice, some milk, some cream flavor powder and I think you'd probably get away with using like coffee mate or some kind of powder instead of having to go buy the specific flavor powder. And then some water and a little bit of sugar syrup in a blender and pulse until it's smooth. Then pour this on top of some tapioca and add a bubble tea straw and you are done! Now the last one is black milk tea, and so this isn't so much a slushy, this is a little bit more liquidy, so if you prefer this, definitely check this recipe out. So you want to pop some milk, some sugar syrup, and some black tea that is cooled, and the ice into a blender, and pulse until everything is smooth. And then pour this on top of some tapioca, and top with a straw, and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you like this recipe. So in the recipe that I was using, you use like the powdered flavor, but if you guys would like a more natural kind of version of bubble tea, like with real fruit and real flavoring, definitely let me know because as I was making it, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm sure it's not like supposed to be healthy, but I feel like it can be healthier. So if you would like a more healthy kind of fruit based version, definitely let me know and I can do some testing and find some recipes that are more healthy. And make sure to check this channel because I'm actually uploading two videos today. The other video is going to be an announcement of what my September flavors are for my Etsy shop. I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. I think they're so cute and they taste so good. So if you're excited about fall like I am, definitely check it out because everything is like fall flavored and it's so nice. Oh, and make sure if you haven't entered the giveaway yet, I'm doing a back to school giveaway. So check out Tuesday's video, which was the fruit leather video, and enter because you still have a couple more days to enter to win a couple big backpacks that are stuffed with back to school goodies. So yes, I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye.